This year's Super Bowl has shown me three trends that I think are likely to continue. Welcome to three, three insights in about three minutes, Super Bowl edition. I'm Drew Dinkelocker. I watched all 65 Super Bowl commercials over a 36 hour period, and that focused effort reveals things that you may never notice otherwise. Here are the trends that popped up that I think will continue, or at least hope so in some cases. Trend number one, COVID is almost done. I'm not talking scientifically, I'm talking commercially. No one was wearing a mask in any of these spots. Masking is no longer a thing. It's at least in commercials, it's not. No need to promote your brand as being safe by showing people walking around wearing masks. Trend number two, disclaimers hide secrets. Well, it's no surprise that car makers are rushing to promote their electric vehicles. One thing that I've discovered is that taking the time to read the fine print, the disclaimers, you know, can reveal nuggets about availability and sometimes a bit of humor. The Chevy Silverado commercial, based on The Sopranos theme, had no disclaimer and a clear call to action. Reserve yours now. Nice and clear. But GM's Dr. Evil spot, featuring characters from the Austin Powers movie, starts to really move into the fantasy world, stating, simulated or pre-production products shown throughout and subject to change. Certain products not currently available or subject to limited availability. See vehicle websites for details. Seems like the car makers range from reserve yours today to, well, eh, we're thinking about making these at some time in the future. On the more intentional stab at humor, there's BMW's spot with Arnold Schwarzenegger playing Zeus, the Greek god, and driving through the streets of Palm Springs that generates this disclaimer, immortal professional driver on closed course. Do not attempt. I love little insider attempts at humor. Trend number three, Alexa will become a mind reader. Amazon's strategy has been to poke fun at Alexa, the virtual assistant. This year's Super Bowl ad is called Mind Reader. Hey babe, check this out. Alexa, it's game day. Streaming football on Prime Video, closing blinds, chilling rosé. Wow, it's like she can read your mind. When you have to do those love scenes with hot guys, is that fun or is that like the worst? It's the worst. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Think about that. They're making fun at how intrusive Alexa has become. Isn't that one of the primary reasons people don't get an Alexa? That's an odd way, eh, maybe a brilliant way at handling an objection. As a somewhat tech-savvy boomer, I still think Big Brother, not the TV show, but the 1984 version of Big Brother, is a really bad idea. The trend is that tech will continue to become more and more intrusive, but Amazon will continue to leverage humor and describe it as simply, well, customizing to the needs of the individual. As a society, we continue to sprint toward that gray line between making our own choices and having them made for us. I'm Drew Dinkle.